Hello Tokusatsu community and welcome back to Toku Topics. I'm here with another video here today to do a little Tokusatsu unboxing from Mandarake, which of course is upside down right now uh, because the address and stuff is on the bottom of the box. So basically, you know, you ever just place the random Mandarake order stuff? That's what I did. So basically, Mandarake has that whole alert system. It's where you can put an alert on something that's out of stock and when it goes in stock, they'll send you an email for it and if you're quick enough, you might be able to get it. So, <laughs> there was something that was in stock. I was able to get it and throw some other stuff in here. Uh, two miscellaneous things that I didn't really need right now, and one thing that I was after right now. Uh, but there is kind of a main item in this box, and then three other just kind of random items. The main item, I believe, is going to be used in the clickbait of this video, I think. Uh, and uh, everything else will just be everything else. So, uh, yeah. This might be one of the first times I've ever shipped a Mandarake box to the dorm. I usually don't do that, but... I'm not going home for a considerable amount of time, so I wanted to be sure uh, that this stuff got here. So, let's go ahead and grab it out of here so we can get this dirty box off of my bed. <laughs> and there we go. So we have a bunch of paper there, and I'm gonna throw the box on the floor. And yeah, so let's see what item we grab first. I kinda wanna save the big item for last, if I can, and not really spoil it. And it looks like I might be able to do that. So everything we have is nice and bubble wrapped in here. So there's actually two Sentai things in here and two Rider things in here. Um, so let's go ahead and open up the bubble wrap that we got it all in here. And take a look at the first item, which is the big purple box. So this is... This! Oh, it's a... Ah! Uh, this! <laughs> it is the clear Pleziwan Judenshi from Kyoyuger. Very cheap, so definitely not sealed, uh, but this was like 300 yen, I think. Uh, Plezuan is probably, besides Kyoyu Silver, Kyoyu Violet's probably my favorite Kyoyuger suit. Absolutely love Plezuan's design and Plezuo and everything. And so basically this is a canon Judenshi. This was used in one of the Hyper Valley DVDs. I believe it was used to give him either the Plezuan rocket or it was used to do a special that special carnival. No, I think it was the rocket, right? It was definitely the Plizzo on a rocket. It's been a long time since I watched any Kyoyuger content, and I probably put a picture up of what I'm trying to talk about. But basically, it's just a Plizzo on Judenshi with, like, translucent purple plastic. And since I did recently get a Giga Gabba Revolver, which uh, I mentioned in my Q-Ranger unboxing a couple months ago, I had a regular Plizzo on Judenshi, but I wanted to get this one as well because it's just a very pretty one. So, also, it will allow me to fill both slots of the Giga Gabba Revolver with Plezuan Judenshis, so I can have like a, a double Plezuan attack or something. If I can open the thing, there we go. So, and I dropped it too. So this video's off to a great start, but there it is, the Plezuan Judenshi, very pretty purple plastic. We kind of got something like this over here, actually. I think we released uh, Dino Chargers that were kind of similar to this, where they're all like a stationary color. I don't think ours were translucent like this one is. This is not as translucent as I, was, uh, as I was expecting it to be, to be honest, but it is still very nice. And then of course, there it is. Plezuan. So yeah, this will go very nicely. I don't have any of my other Judenshi here. I don't have my regular uh, Plezuan one to compare it to, but I do now have this really pretty translucent purple one. So we'll go ahead and put that off to the side. So that is a fun little first edition for this box. So the other things I got were this. This is a Soto Ride Player from the x line. So I already have one of these, uh, which I honestly have not built yet. I haven't stickered that up or done anything with that, but I wanted to have a tiny little army of these guys. And this was 250 yen and you get the entire figure in one box. So I figured, you know, cause there should be multiples of these guys as there were on the show all the time. So here is a Soto Ride Player from the x line, 250 yen. And it's still sealed, so it's been sealed for five years, which is crazy that it's already been that long. And uh, there's a little thank you paid sticker on the back of it, which I've never really seen before, so that's definitely interesting. Uh, maybe that's where the original person bought it from or something. Uh, maybe they put that on there. Uh, but yeah, it's just a soda ride player. I actually have my other ride player up here and part of my... I have a whole big candy toy soda figure backlog. And I brought a bunch of them up here to sticker on free time and stuff, you know, in between classes or whatever. And uh, the original ride player I bought is actually one of the figures I brought up here. It's actually over there by my desk. So now I have both of them up here uh, whenever I want to get around to that. I think I probably want to get 
maybe four more. I kind of want to, I kind of like to do like armies of six with Soto uh, minions and armies of three for lightning collection. And then speaking of more Soto, this is the one thing that I was talking about that I was specifically looking for besides the other item in this box. And that is this, the Soto Chronicle Ryuki 3 alternative figure. Um, so they just put the nice tape on it. Both of the boxes, you get the body and the armor. And basically the reason why I wanted this even though I already have one of these from the, because I bought the whole case set of Chronicle 3, is that they give you optional stickers, and I, I think it's showing it here, or maybe if not, on the back maybe. But basically there's different kinds of stickers you can use to either make this alternative or alternative zero, or, yeah, because that's alternative zero, because he has a little silver there, I think, and that's not, maybe that's just glare, but <laughs> I know that there's a difference between alternative and alternative zero. And the Soto figures allowed you to do that, but you had to pick. You had to pick which one you were going to do. And so since I only had one, I was only going to be able to do one or the other. And you do get stand stickers, which it's not showing on this one. But you do get stand stickers that say alternative and alternative zero. Um, so, like I said, I wanted to be able to uh, show that off. And I don't know why I'm trying to put this back in the tape. I don't need the tape on there anyway. But yeah, so now I have the body and the armor to make alternative and alternative zero for whenever I want to get. Actually, I think they show one of each on here. I th oh yeah, they do. Yeah, because the differences are the little head crest. There's silver on one, and there's a little bit of silver there that's not on the other one. It's very minor. The only differences will be that, and then obviously the stand sticker. But it's enough, and they are technically two different riders, so I just want to be able to make alternative and alternative zero. And now I can. So those alongside the premium set that's coming out this, uh, this summer will complete my Soda Chronicle Ryuki besides all the monsters. Haven't been able to do that yet, so... And then this was the item that prompted the whole order. It's these. So if you're familiar with what these are, um, they are something that I was hoping I would have got in my original HLJ unboxing of my Don Brothers stuff, but I unfortunately did not. And these are a set of promo cards that they uh, gave out to first release bonuses of the Don Blaster. And I think also the Don Blaster and Buckle set. And maybe, I don't, I don't remember if they gave them out for the Buckle by itself, but I know those two toys. You could get this and uh, basically it's just a really cool set of promo cards showing off every single sentai team and on the back it shows their changers from go ranger all the way through don brothers and i was like oh that's really cool hopefully i get mine as the free bonus i didn't so <laughs> i wanted to track one down because the, the more i see of these cards the more i'm kind of jealous that i didn't get one and uh this was up on mandarake for 1500 yen which I so was alternative. He was the other most expensive thing in this set. So this, these two together were 1500, 250, 300, and then this was also 1500 yen. So this entire box was like 30 bucks or something. Nothing too crazy, but yeah, right there we have Don Brothers on the front and we're gonna take a look at all of these cards because uh, they are very pretty and I'm very happy I was able to track them all down for such a good price. So let's get them out of the plastic. I wanna be careful because I might wanna put these back in the plastic later on, I'm not sure. Oh, Jacka's card is trying not to leave with everybody else. Oh, and we got Don Brothers card stuck in there now. This is going so well. Did we get it? Did we get a grip on it? I don't think we did. No, we did not. <laughs> so come on, you can come out of the bag as well. There we go. Maybe I won't put them back in the in the bag. But yeah. So this is all 46 Super Sentai. Or I guess technically 47. Although I do believe that Lupin Ranger, Potter Ranger share a card. I'm pretty confident of that. But these are very nice. Like very nice like high quality card stock. They're very basically like cardboard. Uh, very nice. So we're going to say blah, blah, blah. Let's go and talk about all of them here. So this is the best one. Nothing on the back. So we'll start there. Uh, but yeah, basically, I guess we'll just kind of try to go in order. Um, so here is the back of the Go Ranger card. So since the older Sentai, like the very early Sentai, didn't really have changers, they show a team of Go Ranger action figures from the 70s, which look really cool. Look how fun those were uh, for 50-year-old toys, nearly 50-year-old toys. So they have a little description about the season. Uh, what else do they got here? Looks like they have the number Super Sentai Archives, I think is what these are called. So 1975, you get the Go Ranger logo. And on the front, you get a nice picture of the whole team and the show logo. And then right here, I'm assuming it just says the names of the different Rangers on the team. So that is very pretty. So there is Go Ranger. Next up, we have Jacka, which I could go ahead and show the front first. 
So there is the Jacka team with Big One included and everybody there. So Jacka Den Gekitai from 1977. And then there is just a nice picture of the original four action figures. So no Big One figure there, just the original four. Next up we have Battle Fever J. So there are the five of them. And interestingly, uh, interestingly enough, it does clarify there. It looks like it specifies that uh, Battle Kenya is a Green Ranger. I always associated him as a Black Ranger, but going based off the colors here, they also do have him labeled as orange for Battle Kazakh, which I would say is accurate. So that's very interesting. I would not have uh, identified him as a Green Ranger, but I mean, I guess like he has a little bit of green on him, but you know what I mean? So there are a team of, I think these are just vinyl figures. I don't even think these are like actual action figures of the Battle Fever team, but very fun there. Next up, we have, of course, Denji Sentai Denji Man. So there they are. And on the back, we are still in the action figure days. Very nice, like, metallic arms that they have for the Denji Punch. Those are pretty cool. I'm sure it's probably a huge pain to find, like, a set of these that doesn't have, like, a bunch of chipped uh, chrome paint and stuff off them, especially since these were released in 1980. So they are, what, 42 years old at this point? So definitely going to be very old toys. But they even gave Pink a skirt, so that's cool. Next up, we have Tayo Sentai Sun Vulcan. You know, our good old trio. Our only team, really, without any females, which is kind of a shame. And on the back, we are still in the figure days. These are, like, proper figures. Looks like they used some chrome for the white parts on their chest. Probably just to make them kind of uh, stand out a little bit more. So there is Sun Vulcan. Next up, we have Dai Sentai Gogo 5. I've, really, I've always really liked these suits, to be honest. I think they're uh, a really nice looking Sentai team. And these pictures up here are gorgeous, just having the whole Sentai stand there. And there's their action figures. So I don't remember exactly which Sentai starts actually showing their changes on the back. They show the figures for a considerable amount of time, because I mean, we're six Sentai in. Next up, we have Kayaku Sentai Dynaman. So there they are. The team that was originally going to be a baseball theme team before it became explosions so you know very similar themes i guess <laughs> so there is the dynaman figure team very light pink on this team in terms of like the the color shading so there's dynaman next up we have chodenshi bioman one of my all-time favorite uh 80s sentai suits and shows uh, i haven't finished bioman but i've always liked what i've seen of it so there is the bioman team and on the back, we have their action figures, which look pretty good for, what, 1984? So, yeah, pretty good set of action figures right there. Pretty similar to what they would go with for, like, another, like, decade and a half. I mean, those look kind of like the flip heads from, My like, Mighty Morphin and stuff, which, uh, you know, the kind of Sentai action figures we would continue into the 90s. Next up, we have Dengeki Sentai Change Man. Love that background back there, the kind of space background. Change Man, one of my all-time favorite Sentai themes. That's every time that that song starts playing in my head, it gets stuck in there for a couple of days. And they are the first one to actually show off their changer, which is the Change Brace. So I couldn't remember if these actually said their names on there, but they do, which is very helpful because um, I think I can only remember the names off the top of my heads of the changers from like Deca Ranger onwards, besides things like the Aura Changer and Dino Buckler and stuff. So these older changers, super hard to find you know, toys of them that are not thousands of dollars. They used to have these tiny little missiles you could load into them, and a lot of them were just watches. So that was really fun. You know, watches that maybe just beep and then maybe let you fire some rockets. They were very similar things. Uh, so next up, we have Chodenshi Flyman. Flyman? What did I just say? Flashman. Choshinshi Flashman. So there we have that. Love these suits. Another one of my all-time favorite 80s Sentai suits. They're just really clean. Absolutely love them. And on the back, we have the Prism Flash, their changer. Very similar to the Change Brace. It has, I think, almost basically the exact same little firing missiles, just on the opposite side. Oh, yeah, because since this was Flashman, it has this little flash button to where it would have this little, like, flash light. Uh, not like an actual flashlight, but it would just make, like, a little spark light <laughs> that would, like, you could, you, like, just kind of flick, basically, on the changer. So, from all the videos I've seen of these. Because uh, some people do have these really, really old changers, which I'm jealous of. Next up, we have Hikari Sentai Mask Man, my all-time favorite 80s Sentai suits. Love these suits so much. I'm happy that they are technically Power Rangers canon, as uh, Power Rangers new powers, of course, for your Speed Racer Flubber fans out there from back in the day. And next up, we have the Masking Brace. 
So that is the name of this thing. Very similar, it has like the two little buttons. So, you know, back then they were all just these wrist changers that did not do much uh, because this was way before the era of gimmicks for every single toy and all that kind of stuff. So it was a simpler time. So next up we have Choju Sentai Live Man. Awesome suits as well. I know this is a big fan favorite. I have personally never watched Live Man, but I know that there's a lot of fans of it out there. So there is the team there. And on the back, you have the twin brace, which is the kind of first one has a lot of functionality because you could, well, stows the missiles. It's a two piece changer. You could also swap out the little tiles for Blue Dolphin and uh, Yellow Lion. I'm not sure if they released tiles for Green Sai and Black Bison. I'm not as familiar with the uh, older, older Sentai toy lines as I am the more modern ones, but uh, uh, yeah, still a really cool looking changer. I always thought that the red falcon symbol makes you think of the red hawk symbol. I mean, this one came first, obviously, but... Next up we have Kokso Cox uh, Sentai Turbo Ranger. So there it is. Kind of, I think, one of the most least popular Sentais. It definitely seems to get overlooked. And then they have the Turbo Brace, which I think just basically makes this thing spin around. Kind of like a little, like, turbine fan thing or something. But it's definitely a neat one. I like this one. I think you just click this red button and it does it, basically. There is Turbo Ranger. Next up, we have Five Man. Suits I also really like, Power Rangers Supersonic for you comic fans out there. And they had the V Changer Brace and the V Changer Compact, because I know the females used this thing, this like necklace thing, and the males used this one. Um, so that was kind of interesting, but that is how they broke it apart there. So I, I do like that they show both of them on here though. That's pretty neat. So the next up we have Chojin Sentai Jetman, huge fan favorite one. So there is their team right there. Awesome looking suits, really like the Jetman suits. And on the back you get the Cross Changer, which I know is a big fan favorite one as well. Uh, pretty much everything from Jetman is a big fan favorite to be honest. So that one does look pretty cool though. I like that one. Next up we have the greatest Sentai ever made, Kyoryu Sentai Jew Ranger. <laughs> so Power Rangers, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers of course. So there's the whole team. Our first card that has a sixth ranger, because obviously this is the first team with a sixth ranger. And on the back, you get just the dino buckler. You don't get the uh, dragon buckler, I think is what it's called. You don't get Tommy's version or dragon ranger's version of the morpher, uh, which is fine. But yeah, there is the iconic power morpher back there. Or of course, dino buckler from G Ranger. Next up, we have Gose Sentai Dai Ranger. Once again, has a sixth ranger. It's got Kiva Ranger back there. So I feel like some of these older Sentai, you don't necessarily see like team picks with their six all the time. Um, so it's cool to finally like get a bunch of these like that. So there is that. And on the back, we have the Aura Changer, which uh, if you're familiar with this, it is also the changer for the Magnet Defender in Power Rangers Lost Galaxy. That's where we took it from. So there it is. Next up, we have Ninja Sentai Kaka Ranger. So they don't show any sixth for here. I would have liked them to have shown Ninja Man. I always considered him a six for this team, but you know, oh well. And in the back you have the Doron Changer, which is also a really cool one, especially with like using coins and stuff again. I've always liked the little like string that hangs off of it. So that's a very cool one. Next up we have Choki Sentai O-Ranger and you get all six of them there. So that looks very nice. Uh, I like how it looks like they're all holding the uh, combination of the blaster and the rod. I don't think I've ever really seen them all use that, so that's very interesting. Uh, except for Red, he's not doing it, but that's pretty cool. And on the back, you have the Power Brace, which I did not remember that this is what that was called. I always just see this and think of a Zeonizer, so <laughs> there is that. And on the back, or on the next one, we have Gexo Sentai Car Ranger. So no Signal Man, no VRV Master, no White Racer. Really, guys, you're not going to put White Racer on the card? But yeah, there's the core. Car Ranger team, and then there is the Axel Changer, another one that I really like. Um, probably one I would really like to try to track down. I've always wanted to like get all these older Changers, and especially Power Rangers Morphers, because uh, a lot of them just look really cool. And I've always liked the, the ones that have keys and stuff. That uh, me, a fan of keys, surprising, right? I've always liked ones that have like keys that you have to like activate stuff with. Next up, we have Denji Sentai Mega Ranger. Love that we have Mega Silver included as well. And on the back, we get the Digitizer, which is an absolutely awesome changer. One that I really, really want. Definitely want to get to that uh, Super Sentai Artisan one someday if I ever can. I love that thing. So there's that. Next up, we have Seiju Sentai Gingaman. 
So no Bull Black on here, which is kind of surprising because for the most part, he's usually considered, I mean, I know Gokaiger considers him an extra hero, but like I definitely would have included him on the card. And this is the Ginga Brace, right? Yep, Ginga Brace. I was right on that one. This is definitely more the era where I will pretty much know most of the changer names if I happen to look at the card. So there is Ginga Man. Next up, we have QQ Sentai Gogo -Go 5. So obviously they don't have a sixth. They don't ever really consider uh, Zeke or Zeke Janine Rangers. Obviously no Titanium Ranger on here. It didn't exist there. So there is Gogo -Go 5. And there is the... Oh no. <laughs> so they changed the names to the toy... Uh, like packaging names. Uh, go brace, maybe? I don't know. <laughs> so, you you threw me for a loop there. I literally said on the last card, like, this is where I'm going to start really knowing them. What is it, Josh? <laughs> so there's that. Uh, but still a really cool looking one. And next up we have Mirai Sentai Time Ranger. So there is that. With Time Fire included, of course. And you get the Chrono Changer, perhaps? If not, that's probably what it should be called. <laughs> so there is that. I've always liked that kind of like, you know, look at a, or kind of an attempt at this really futuristic looking changer. I mean, it makes sense. It's just always been really cool. Next up we have Hakuju Sentai Gal Ranger. All six of them there. Let's just check Gal Silver. Yep, he's got silver boots. He's got a holster. Wait, hold on. Yep, he's got a holster. He's got six stripes, probably. It's very hard to tell. It's very tiny. But I'm sure he does, as he should. And there is the growl phone. I know that's what that's that. I know that's what this one is called. And you get the little little uh, heads, I guess you could change to make the different animals, which was always a really cool little gimmick on this. I mean, Gal Ranger toy line, absolutely awesome. Don't have enough stuff from that to be honest. So there's that. Next up, we have Nimpu Sentai Hurricanger. All six of them there. So you get the Go Rigers and Shuri Kenger. Although on the back, they just show the main trio's changer, uh, not the other two, which is kind of unfortunate since they do have everybody on the front. But I mean, they're not really showing six ranger changers and stuff anyway, so I get it. But still, it would have been nice to see them all. So of course, you get the two different medals that this toy had and everything, because obviously these are the toy pictures, so it's just indicative of what the original toy came with. So next up, we have Baku Sentai Abba Ranger, and you do get all five of them there. However, on the back, you only get the original Dino Brace, so there is that. But you do get the, you know, the two different swappable plates. I really want to get these changers someday. Uh, I've never seen Opera Ranger, but Dino Thunder is my favorite Power Ranger season. So if I could get this, and if I could get the uh, Dino Commander and the Dino the uh, Killer Changer, oh, I'm screwing it up completely. But if I could get all the changers and like the one that we released over here exclusively for that Triassic Battleizer and all that kind of stuff, I would absolutely love to get those someday. Definitely some Holy Grail items I'd like to try to pick up. But we have Abba Ranger. Next up, we have Tokuso Sentai Deca Ranger. Absolutely awesome, awesome card, awesome team, awesome suits, awesome show. On the back, you have one of my all-time favorite morphers ever, the SP license. I love this thing immensely. It's just such a cool design. I've always loved the functionality with this and the whole judgment mode. I've loved, it. I love that thing so much. Another one of all my, my another one of my all-time favorite changers comes from Maji Ranger, which they do show Maji Shine, no Wolzard Fire or Maji Mother, but on the back you do get just the original Maji phone, which I love this thing a lot. It's another one that I really want to get because I've always loved how it turns into the wand. It just looks cool. It's like a nice little compact cell phone because uh, even though it has that really cool gimmick, it really doesn't add any kind of like bulkiness or anything to it. And I do like that you're able to swap at least on the Japanese one the little symbols to have everybody's. Uh, to be, you know, their own unique one. So that's always been really cool. Uh, next up, we have Gogo -Go Sentai Bokenger. Another one of my favorite suits designs. I've always loved those ones. And of course, on the back, you get the Accelerer, I think is what it's called. So another really cool one, like the little spin gimmick and how that has always worked. So there's that. And of course, the little black light to find stuff. That's always been fun. Juken Sentai Geki Ranger. You get the five of them there. And on the back, you get the Geki Brace, I think, maybe? Something like that. Geki Fists or something. So there's those. Which, you know, simple changer. I don't really get why we changed them over here for Jungle Fury. I don't really think either season had the best-looking changers, except for, like, the side blade. Love that thing. And the Gon changer is really cool, too. I love the little bell with the wolf. That's always been fun. But these ones have always been the weakest ones, and I think both shows, uh, to be honest. Next up, we have Engine Sentai Goanger. So there's the whole team of seven there, including the go on wings. And on the back, you just get the original 
go phone. <laughs> so, which uh, it doesn't show, you know, anything else about because yeah, it just came with one engine cell, right? Or engine soul, sorry. But yeah, this is kind of our first one to use gimmicks, basically, because uh, obviously you put the soul on the phone and everything. Also, a really cool design. I would like to get all three of these changers someday as well. Uh, I've never gotten those, but they all are all really cool. Next up, we have Samurai Sentai Shinkenger. Some of my all-time favorite suits ever. Of course, very nostalgic for me as being Power Ranger Samurai. And on the back, you get the Shoto foam, which we only ever used its brush formation for Lauren, but it's always been a really cool design and really cool little gimmick. I've always really liked that one. Next up, we have Tenso Sentai Go Sager. All six of them there. And on the back, you... Oh, if, I, if you don't drop the card. And on the back, you get the Tensoder with the Gosei Red Gosei card. Next up, of course, we have Kaizoku Sentai Go Kaiger. Awesome, awesome looking card. And one of the, my all-time favorite changers ever, the Mobirates, with a Red Ranger key, of course. Which is interesting, it only shows Gokai Reds, even though the original toy came with the Shinken Red and Go On Red keys as well. So, but I mean, I get it. You, you get the main point of it across there. So there's that. Next up, we have Tokume Sentai Go Busters. So you get all five of them there, and you get the Morphin Brace on the back. So that one's always been a really fun looking design. I think it's kind of neat how we threw keys into it for Beast Morphers. Next up we have Juden Sentai Kyoryuji, and you get all 10 of them, which is really cool. Would not have necessarily expected that, so I absolutely love that. And on the back you get the Gabba Revolver, one of my other favorite changers. I just think this one has been really cool. Post Go Kaiger has had a pretty good amount of really good ones in my opinion. Obviously very toyetic ones, this looks ridiculous, but it is a really cool one nonetheless. And you get the, uh, of course, Gabutira, Gaburincho, Judenchi. I don't know why I say Gaburincho there, but you get the Judenchi for Gabutira there. So there's that. Next up we have Russia Sentai Tokyuger. Love those suits as well. On the back we get the Tokyo Changer with the red Resha inserted into it, of course, 2014. I was blocking it with my thumb. Next up we have Shuriken Sentai Nin Ninja. And on the back they have like a hyphen in between Nin and Ninja, which I've never seen it written like that before, so that's interesting. There is the Ninja Ichibanto with the Aka Ninja Nin Shuriken. So, kind of a whole roleplay weapon, basically. I mean, obviously we have a lot of guns as changers, but not that many swords. Here's Dobutsu Sentai Juoger, including one of my all-time favorite Six Ranger designs with Juo the World. Oh, and wow, Juo Bird's there, too. See, I don't get this. <laughs> like, some cards definitely should have, like, more rangers on there. Like, was Deca Master on the Deca Ranger card? I'm pretty sure it wasn't. Let me, uh, let me just confirm that, though. Were you on the card, Deca Master? No. So, if Deca Master's not on that card, why is Juo Bird on this card? That's very strange. But there is the Juo Changer. It's a cube. It's fun. Next up, we're almost done here. We have Uchi Sentai Q Ranger, and you do get all 12 of them, so that is good. I do like that. Definitely have to make that <laughs> name bar very big there for everybody. So, that's interesting. And on the back, you get the Seiza Blaster, which is uh, something I just recently was able to get, finally. So, that looks really cool with the Shishi Kyutama inserted into it. Next up, we get Kaito Sentai Lupin Ranger versus Keisatsu Sentai Pato Ranger. And I love this card a lot. It just looks, although it's kind of strange that you have Lupin Ranger and then Pato Ranger, and then they show Pato Ranger first and then Lupin Ranger, but you do get all of the core team there. So you get Lupin X and Pato and X. Love these suit designs. I gave up on the show too early. I definitely need to go back and finish it. Uh, but it is really cool concept. It's a really cool suit designs and stuff. Like I said, I do like that they share the changer. So there it is in both of its forms, the versus changer. So you have the Pots Ranger form, the Looper Ranger form. Just really cool. Really cool idea. Really fun. Next up, we have Kishiri Sentai Guru Soldier. So there's all six of them there. Our current Power Rangers team of Power Rangers Dino Fury. And there is the Rusol Changer with the red Rusol. Next up, we have Machine Sentai Kira Major, one of my all-time favorite Sentais that I've ever seen. I thought this show was really, really good, especially for all the things I had to go through with the pandemic and everything. And there's the Kira Major Changer. I have one of these. It's at home right now, but it is a relatively fun toy. It's not the most complex, but, it, you know, I've had some fun with it. And then almost done here, we have Kikai Sentais and Kaiger. So the one that just wrapped up, you do get two Kaiser here. Somewhat rare to get him posed with the rest of the team, so that's always fun. No Stay Caesar though, but you know, I get it. And on the back we get the Gear Leaner, another one of my all-time favorite changers. I've absolutely fell in love with this thing last year. And there's the Zenkaiser Sentai Gear. 
And then last but not least, our current iteration of Super Sentai, the Albataro Sentai Dawn Brothers. So obviously they have a little bit of a different card. It's very shiny. It has the whole team there, different kind of setup and everything. But on the back, it's basically the exact same. It has the Dawn Blaster, which we just recently took a look at. And there is that. So let's try to gather these cards up as nice as possible. <laughs> so and hope that they're all still in the same order. But yeah, these are very, very pretty. Uh, and I highly recommend trying to track them down if you can get them. I believe they're going to be called what, the Super Sentai Archives card set. So it's really nice that they came in a set. Um, it'd be terrible if you had just like a random, you know, card that you could get. Because that would definitely be a big pain in the butt to try to track them all down. But if you're able to get them all, they're a gorgeous set. Like, like I said, I highly recommend them. Uh, just as like a fun little thing. I don't really know why they bothered to do this. But, you know, why not? <laughs> it's cool. And uh, it's definitely something I wanted to have for my collection. And to get it for 1500 yen, which is like 12 bucks or something, I was like, yeah, I definitely will do that. But yeah, with that, the cards, the Soto figures, and the Judenshi, that is going to do it for this little Mandarake unboxing, which was primarily just a showcase of all the cards. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Of course, until next time, you guys can follow me on Twitter at LivingRangerKey or at LightningFigPR. And I'll see you all next time.